All right, welcome to this Dub Turbo tutorial. It's more of a demonstration. Uh, I got a review copy of Dub Turbo 2.0, and in turn, I'm gonna film a quick video demo of the first day out with the software. Uh, I will be calling out what I'm doing as I do it, so it won't be too hard to follow. Uh, I'm just getting used to the software myself, so it's gonna be very simple. If you do have an issue, just check out this video tab right here. Um, it'll open up a bunch of tutorials, and that's what I did. I watched maybe two minutes of the first tutorial. Already I knew what was up, and uh, that's not to say I'm some audio genius or you, you need to be crazy experienced with uh, beat making software uh, to get it. It just means that Dub Turbo kept it simple. Uh, all they want is for you to be able to make beats uh, right out the gate. And that's all we really want is uh, to be able to do that because I don't want to have an idea in my head and open up the program and have to go through all this crazy shit just to, uh, to make beats. And I'm sure you don't either. So uh, that said, um, one last thing. This is a, a good little uh, thing right here and that's the help tab. And what it does is it shows you a rundown of all the buttons and uh, what everything does on the interface. Just a quick overview, uh, you know, not a 128 page manual, just quick and to the point. So between the help tab and the videos tab, uh, you'll know exactly what's going on in this video. Anyway, I hate long videos and I'm sure you do too. So let's get to it. All right, I showed you the help tab uh, that gives you the breakdown, so we don't need to go through all that. I'm just gonna show you right quick the tools we're gonna be using. It's one set of tools, and what we're looking at right now is the arrangement window. I don't know if that's what they call it in Dub Turbo, but I'm gonna refer to it as that because that's what it is, and that's what it's called in most workstations. Um, that's because uh, this is where we set up our, our song structure. This is where we arrange um, our pieces of our songs. So um, as you can see, it's uh, set up in, in, in quick bar format. I've set it to uh, a two bar count and 100 beats per minute uh, just to keep it simple and get it in. Uh, but the main point of this, again, is to look at the tools. And so what we're using today is the move tool, the draw tool, and the erase tool. And basically, I'll show you the draw tool because that is the main go-to tool that we'll be using. Uh, this basically uh, writes all your pieces for you, um, and it's a very simple format in a pencil. Uh, so we're going to click it, and there's one bar, um, and that's it. Uh, now, if I don't like it sitting where it's sitting, we just grab the Move tool, and there you go. You move it to wherever you want in the window. And if I really don't like it, we hit erase. And that's all there is to it. Uh, the last thing, though, we probably don't want to be going like this and this and this and this and this every time, dragging and dropping. So basically, uh, we're going to look in the top right-hand side of the keyboard, and that is going to be where our shortcuts are going to be. And that's what I use all day because it saves time. Uh, anyway, so that's O for move. P for draw, left bracket for erase. P for draw, draw, left bracket for erase, erase, etc. and so on. And that's all you need to know. Let's keep it moving. Let's make a beat. All right, so now that you know what everything does, we're just going to jump right to it. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to grab our draw tool. But last time we clicked it, uh, this time we're going to click and hold. So click and hold, and then drag it out. And then you've got two bars right there. Remember, we're doing a two count uh, beat, 100 beats per minute. So now that we've got two bars, we're going to go to our pattern window where the step sequencer is. And to do that, we're going to hit Control E. And I said Control E because I'm on a PC today. I use both. And uh, the rule of thumb for most audio programs is if I say Control E on a PC, you're going to say Command E on a Mac. So you won't get too lost um, if you're on a Mac. Uh, so anyway, let's take a look at the sounds. I mean, yeah, like that. Yeah, these are just, I mean, this is the first uh, set of sounds out of the gate, and I like them. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to grab our draw tool again, all right? And we're going to set up a beat. Now, the thing is um, to remember, I'm just going to do, um, sorry, a simple 
uh, we're gonna do a simple pattern. And what I was gonna say, uh, but I figured I'd draw the beat in first, uh, just so you know what I was doing. Um, I did this, I'm not using a metronome, uh, because uh, not for any reason that they're bad, I mean, they're great, uh, it's just that it's a two bar uh, beat, and I already know where everything would fit. And to learn how to do that, uh, basically, if you see there's a kick, and then a kick, and then a kick, um, so basically, where these shadows are, if you see every block of four counts as a bar, every block counts as a beat. So one beat, two beat, three beat, four beat, new bar. So you go one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four. You get me? So that's the basic um, of the bar structure in this, uh, especially in dub turbo. So now that we've done that, we've done kicks there, kicks there, uh, maybe we're going to do that. And then we're going to add some hats. Um, so they're going to fall on every kick and every snare and one count in between because uh, it keeps it moving. Uh, so let's take a listen. All right, sounds good to me. Uh, maybe this is easy. So maybe we'll just add that right there and... Uh, and maybe take down the hat as you can see there's a little mixer here and uh you know take down the hat we're trying not to split ears with the hats we're trying to snap necks with the snares uh and that sounds good to me uh one thing i did forget to do and uh, we're going to control e and go into the other arrangement window i forgot to loop it so we're going to hit control l and as you can see, these little brackets here came up. Control L, Control L. So that's good. Anyway, uh, let's check it. Good. All right. So we like that. All right. Um, as you, we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna add another layer. And as you can see, they have four drum kits in a row. We don't need that today. Um, but we're just going to use what they gave us to keep it simple. Um, but if you want to move things around, you just hit this arrow and you'll see it'll change it to a key instrument or a drum track. All right. So we're going to keep it keys on this one. We're going to draw in two bars, click and hold, drag it out, control E. We're back in. All right. So you hit that. Simple enough. Audition the sound. Uh, we want to go deeper than that. Oh, that's I like that because we're, we're just gonna keep it simple so we grab our draw tool and then maybe one over here double it all right so now you know what um, I want to move that over because uh, it's kind of repetitive so maybe if we give it just a little offset yeah you know what I mean so, it's kind of a vibe right there. So we're gonna switch up the instrument, control E, go back out here, grab our draw tool, click and hold, drag it out, two bars, control E again. So we're just doing the same thing. I'm just moving a little faster, but you can see how easy it is, all right? And we're gonna keep it playing. Now, we've already got kind of a bassy sound, so we're just gonna go through um, some sounds here. And, um, yeah, that's, that's a lot of, <laughs> that's a lot of sounds. Um, you know what I just noticed is, uh, we're only at A to M. We're not even at N to Z yet. And, uh, so yeah, you can see there's a lot of sounds. Um, let's just grab this flute fast. Uh, actually that's, yeah, that's why it's called flute fast. It's too fast. Um, we'll switch it out. Um. As you can see how quick it was, though. I mean, it doesn't even take time to really load. Um, that's kind of dope. Let's grab the draw. And we were at, um, what was that? Uh, an F sharp or a G sharp, I guess it was. And uh, and then probably need some more. All right, that's kind of dope. So we're gonna draw that in. We've got our draw tool selected already. And then um, 
you know, uh, I think I did a delay or an offset on the other one. So we want that to kind of match. And then maybe over here. All right, so uh, let's check that. All right, so yeah, that, that sounds dope to me. The, re the reason I'm laughing is because I didn't even really want to make a beat today. Um, I just wanted to lay something down on the turntables and I got in there and I was I was kind of bored of the beats that I had and then I said oh yeah I got I got that dub turbo uh, so you know maybe I'll make a beat and I don't know this has been what five minutes six minutes and uh, already I got something I like it I mean this is something I would cut to it kind of reminds me of some old uh, you know Timbaland uh, Missy kind of kind of clubby but still kind of dirty and uh, yeah, so let's, uh, you know what, let's add some cuts. You wanna add some cuts? Um, I like it. Let's add some shit. I mean, there it is. I, I don't think we need to show anymore. I think you got the point. Uh, I wasn't trying to make a masterpiece today. Uh, I'll leave that up to you. I'll leave the hits up to you. Um, but one thing I did want to talk about uh, before I even uh, moved or before we close this video, we did see the videos. And obviously, there's this more sounds thing. But this, I was told about this, but I, I didn't notice it. Sell beats. So basically, you, you make your beat and you click this tab and it opens up a site that allows you to upload your beats right there and make your own price and sell it and that's it. I mean, you make the beat, you upload it and you sell it all in Dub Turbo. And uh, I don't know any other program that, that offers that. I mean, <laughs> that's cool, right? So... Um, Anyway, that, that's our vibe uh, to, for the day, Dub Turbo 2.0. Uh, I will be making more videos um, as we get moving with the program. I just want to familiarize myself. But yeah, that's what it is. Uh, so keep it locked.